Hello there and welcome back to a new video. Today I have something very special. Today I have a beginner's guide or a how to get started with airplane model collecting, especially diecast models. Now I remember when I started collecting I had no clue which scale I wanted to collect and I didn't know which brands were good, which ones to buy and I just didn't really have an idea what to do with the models either. So to all you beginners out there or aviation fans who are considering starting to collect model airplanes, here is a video for you. Let's go! Now there are a few things I want to talk about. Um, first up is the things to consider and the first one is which scale you want to collect. Very important. I'm gonna talk a little bit about all the scales they are or like the more popular ones and of course the use what do you want to use them for a model airport just a basic collection and at the end i also have a few tips for you when you start model airplane collecting first up is the scale and i want to explain you real quick what the scale means and the best way to do so is a little example for this example i chose a 1 to 400 scale model because that's the scale I collect and it's really easy actually you have that 1 to 400 scale so let's take for example a Airbus A330-300 which has a length of 36 meters or 6300 centimeters then you simply divide it by 400 or whichever scale you have and this adds up to 15.75 centimeters so now you have the size of the model. The scale um, tells you which size the model is going to be like compared to the real thing. I will show you a model of every single scale I'm going to talk about in this video. First up we have a Delta A330-300 in the 1 to 600 scale. Next up another A330-300 in the 1 to 500 scale. Then a Swiss A330-300 in 1 to 400 scale. And finally, because I did not have a 1 to 200 scale model, I made my own one. Very good quality, better than Gemini Jets. Just kidding. Um, and this represents a A330-300 from Swiss in 1 to 200 scale. First up we have the 1 to 600 scale. This is the smaller scale I'm going to talk about today. This scale actually used to be very popular back in the day. I think like the 60s, the 70s, maybe the 80s before we had the 1 to 400 or 1 to 500 scale. Now for this video I uh, have a 1 to 600 scale model from my girlfriend's collection that I can show you. So here we have it, the Delta A330-300 from my girlfriend's collection. As you can see, there is just not as much detail on this scale. Um, you don't have realistic landing gear, you just have like little metal wheels. Um, it is fully die cast though, the quality is very very nice. They're not as fragile, they're not gonna break, but there's no detail like antennas or stuff like that. Now the price varies between 5 and 30 dollars on this 1 to 600 models. So those are definitely the cheapest options from the ones I'm going to talk about today. Now as I mentioned before, 1 to 600 scale models are not the most popular anymore. So it might be hard to find some models. Um, I recommend either just googling 1 to 600 airplane models or you go on eBay, I saw a lot of good deals on eBay on older models. And yeah, there are two main manufacturers that I'm aware of. This is Suko and Shabak. Next up is of course 1 to 500 and this is a little bit bigger now. For this video, I have a A330-300 from Edelweiss made by Herpa. Now, as you can see the mold now, is a little bit more detailed. Um, you have more detail in the engine, the wings are very nice, and also the landing gear is a little bit more realistic. It's made out of plastic, so um, I don't really like that. It's more fragile, and 
but overall I have to say 12500 has quite nice detail, it's an alright scale. The prices range between 20 and 45 euros depending on which plane you want to get. Now the problem comes with the manufacturers, I only think there is one scale, I don't, I don't think there are many others or not relevant ones, there's just Herpa, but they have a very good collection, the 1 to 500 scale, so definitely if you want to collect 1 to 500, there is plenty of models. Next up is 1 to 400 scale, the one I collect myself. And for the video, I chose my Swiss A330-300 from NG Models. Now, with the 1 to 400 scale, you get much more detail than the two previous scales. For example, you have the antennas, you have the Wi-Fi hubs, especially on the newer models. And also you get very nice realistic landing gear, especially on this NG Models one. Uh, it's made out of metal as well. And the wings also very nice, the engines are very detailed, some models come with see-through engines, um, most new models come with rolling landing gear or even tilting landing gear some models, uh, and as I said the antennas, just a lot of detail in 1 to 400. Now it's starting to get a little bit pricey because most 1 to 400 models are somewhere between 30 and 70 bucks. Now of course you can find some cheaper ones on eBay, some pre-owned ones. But in general, it is around that price range, especially the bigger models will cost you around 50 to 70 dollars. Now the good news though is there are a lot of 1 to 400 scale manufacturers. You have for example Gemini Jets, JC Wings, Phoenix Models and Angie Models. And you just have a very, very big choice from different models there is almost no airplane you cannot find in this scale it's probably the most popular scale i'm not quite sure but if you go with one to four hundred don't be afraid there are going to be lots and lots of models for you the last scale i wanted to talk about is one to two hundred now of course this is the biggest scale i personally do not own a single one to two hundred scale model and for that reason I made one out of cardboard, it's a Swiss A330-300, just so you have kind of a size comparison. Now of course I cannot just leave you there without any information on the 1-200 to scale, but since I do not own a single 1-200 to scale model, it doesn't make sense that I talk about it. So for that reason I called in a favor from a friend, his Instagram is Airports of the World, very cool guy, he has a huge airplane model collection, but that's enough said, here you go. Hello everyone, welcome to my first video. This one is specially made for Swiss 400, go and check out his Instagram page. In this episode, I'm gonna have a look at one of my favorite models, which I actually have flown twice, in 1400 and in 1200 scale from Gemini Chats and from Herpa. So first of all, I have to mention the difference is not only in scale, we have a huge difference between those models, even though it's the exact same plane. First, we have a look at the small one, from Gemini Jets, which was especially made for the Source Airlines. It's an Airbus A321U, which looks very nice, I think it's one of the best models Gemini Jets ever have released. With very good col colors, realistic antennas, and even the gear is turning. Really nice. So, in comparison to the bigger one, which is double of its size, the first thing we notice is the weight of it, because Herpos models, or just this one here, is made out of plastic, which makes it really light, and for that reason it's cheap. Because if we compare it, this one costs about $40, this one about $60, which is a quite good price, and even if it's made out of plastic, it's details would look really really realistic 
also talking about the colors, the antennas, which are on both sides. And also here, the gear is turning. And also the engines, they look really, really good. They don't turn on both models. They don't turn, but they look really, really realistic. Also the APU here, it's a little hole comparison to this one here, which one doesn't have. And also one of the advantages of the bigger one is that you get a stand to place your models on your table or anywhere else. Now I want to just compare those models as they are just small planes like neighbors A321neo, it's not that big, with a big one I have. Actually another one I have flown with, the Airbus A340 of Swiss. This model is made by Gemini Jet, Gemini Jet and costs about $100. So also here the first thing I notice is the way it weighs much more because it's out of metal. But also here colors very good made. Engines look really really good. And also another thing nose wheel turning. That's one of the difference. And all of the wheels are turning. Looks very very good. And even for the beacon lights there are little stones inside which makes it look so much more realistic. Also here, APU, little hole. It looks very, very realistic. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and go and check out the Instagram account of Swiss400. Again, this one is its name. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Wow, thank you very, very much. Again, here is his Insta name. I'm also going to leave it down in the description of the video. But thank you very, very much for this great video. And yeah, little tip from me for everyone who's watching, he's selling a lot of his 1 to 400 scale models. I think there are over 100 he has for sale. And I have to say, I already bought five models from him, and they're all in amazing condition. They look brand new basically and he sells them for a good price as well. So definitely go check out his Instagram account. Now the problem with 1 to 200 scale is really the price. They cost between 60 and 200 US dollars which in my opinion is a lot of money but if you can afford it hey great on you go ahead. Now manufacturer wise there is also a good choice you have JC Wings, Gemini Jets and Herpa. There are other manufacturers as well um, so just if you're interested go ahead um, google it and you will find it. Also like 1 to 400 there are a lot of collectors so you will not have a problem finding models. Now for the use there are two main ways to use your models I think. First up is building a model airport. You can either buy your model airport or you can build it yourself. Personally, I wanna build mine myself and like put a lot of work into it, get it really detailed, like the pictures you see right here. And yeah, that's the first way if you wanna have your models on display all the time, definitely go for a model airport. Now I showed you all those beautiful pictures of this model airport. I have to say this is one of my favorite model airports. The attention to detail is just amazing and it belongs to at 1 to 400 aircraft models. This is his Insta, go check him out for some beautiful shots of his model airport. Uh, thank you very much that I could use your pictures for this video and also I'll link his Facebook group down below in the description for anyone who's interested.
Now the second way of collecting is just having kind of a general collection without an airport and yeah you can for example have them on display like I have uh, right now I have my United fleet on display and you don't really need to buy specific models but with a model airplane you don't need that either but I like to keep it realistic so with my American airport I always collect uh, American narrow bodies and European and Asian white bodies but if you just have a general collection you can like just choose whichever model you like the ones you um, like delivery of and you don't have to be specific on which ones to get now I'm very sorry you had to listen to me for that long if you actually made it to the end if not that's all right too of course I just want to come to a little conclusion um, for me one to four hundred is perfect because uh, it's not too expensive, but I still get a lot of detail with my models. Uh, they're very nice models. 1 to 200 would be, of course, amazing, but I don't have the money or the space for that. And 1 to 500, 1 to 600 is just a little bit too small for my taste. Um, I'm gonna leave some links to uh, some sites where you can buy model airplanes if you're interested. Uh, of course, go check out my friend's uh, collection, um, Airports of the World, if you want to buy some. He has great models for a great price, as I told you. And yeah, other than that, I don't have much more to say. If you have any questions regarding starting to collect model airplanes, just let me know in the comments. So I'll, I will try to answer them. Thank you very, very much for watching and have a good day. Next time I'll be back with a new model review, like always. Thank you very much, have a good day.